and I like challenge. Easy things does not interest me. I like difficult things. In that way, I'm a hopeless uh, youngster. One of my mission is to, to bring good music to as many people as possible. And the other meaning is that music itself has a good influence on people. Uh, it can have, it's not a, a, like a remedy, you know, you listen to a Beethoven symphony and so you go out as a very good person. It doesn't work like that. But if music is one of, of your personal languages, it makes you think a little bit differently. Uh, you have a more keen feeling for proportions and beauty. Don't go too far. You know? uh, don't break the, the, the overall purpose of, of, of your life. Uh, like in the piece of music, it has a, a beginning and, a, and, and it has a goal, an, an, an end. Especially in the music of Beethoven, that is, uh, uh, you have a feeling that from the beginning you want to, to travel to come to the end and then the, the solution you get at the end. <laughs> Music is a passion for me, not only it makes me happy just to hear the sound, it uh, has, has a, almost like a, a turning an electrical switch for me. When I hear the sound, <laughs> it transforms me, uh, I'm in heaven. <laughs> and what I do with the sound, that, that's then uh, my job, to, to make the, the piece of music I play be so close to actual life as possible. That's something I like with the Gewandhaus, by the way. I'm thinking of that now. The motto of the Gewandhaus is Res severa verum gaudium, which means uh, real joy is a serious matter.
and I had no plans uh, to that end. I, uh, even today, during Corona times, I, I prepare the scores as if I had a rehearsal tomorrow. Uh, so I'm ready whenever it's, it's, it's possible to play, and I will enjoy it immensely. Uh, I think the, the body will tell when uh, I cannot do it anymore. And certainly my, my colleagues in the orchestra will, uh, will give me a, the right understanding. <laughs> I studied with him, but uh, how, should I, how should I say this? He did not teach me any conducting. Uh, he teached me through his personality, because the good thing with him was he was a totally sincere and very spontaneous and, uh, and, and true person. Of course, I was careful not to interfere, not to make any political statements. Um, I was a guest, so I should act as a guest. Uh, I was employed, yes, so in, in that respect I was not a guest, I was employed. But I was the, uh, a guest in, the, in that state. So I better act according to the rules of behavior in that state. And I never had any problems. I'm sure that they uh, watched me very carefully, but there was nothing to, to find there. The orchestra was not in very good shape. But he, he has done wonderful things for the orchestra and anyhow. I think his main, what we, he will re, be remembered for, is for the new building, the one house building, and for his role in the, in the peaceful revolution which meant he acted very much as a moderator. He achieved both to build the Gewandhaus, which was remarkable, that the, it was the only concert hall they built during the GDR times at all. That was this house, and it was a wonderful house. You might not like the architecture, that's a matter of taste perhaps, but the acoustics and the rooms around the hall is wonderful, and the hall itself is beautiful. I know an orchestra has so ideal circumstances that they give out that orchestra as for rooms where they can practice, where they can have discussions. There are plenty of room. Uh, that's all uh, the, to the credit of Kurt Mazur. Die lange Noten noch leiser. Wir zermiert. Thank you, Jim.
We had very nice collaborations. Uh, of course, I liked and adored them. They are like, like uh, world champions on every stand. <laughs> um, but they also are world champions in other respect, in, uh, world champions in, in listening to each other. You know? It's just a wonderful uh, orchestra, a very flexible orchestra. And if you let them play and, uh, and create a situation where they can play and play out themselves and feel free, they do wonders. And that's uh, more or less uh, always been my style. I want to let them feel free to play their best. And I want to create a situation where, where they can do that. And then they do. If I would start over again, I think it will be differently because uh, the circumstances uh, are different. Um, I have a feeling as a religious person that I'm, I'm being guided somehow. I don't understand why. I am always uh, uh, I'm a little envious with, with colleagues who say, they have been dreaming of being a conductor from since they were four years old or five years old. Uh, I did not have any such dreams. I dreamt of playing a string quartet, especially with two beautiful girls, you know, one I would marry, the other my brother would marry, he would play the cello, he would play string quartet every day, you know. Of course, when I, when I come closer to, the, uh, to, 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 to conducting myself, when I was asked to conduct first the chorus and then the orchestra, I discovered what a challenge it is. And I like challenge. Easy things does not interest me. I like difficult things. Otherwise, I'm, I'm too lazy you know, to do things that come by itself. Uh, I enjoy peace and, uh, of course, the leisure of the time, but I, even more I enjoy being busy trying to achieve something that is without my reach right now, but perhaps tomorrow. Uh, in that way, I'm a hopeless uh, youngster. ¶¶